My role is a large role, but it's, it's essentially running the business, because after all, whilst this is an orchestra, it is a business. But it's also um, looking after the artistic priorities of the orchestra and planning artistic things into the future. So it's a nice mixture of the artistic and the business side. Someone I greatly admired at my, my village school was, was my, my teacher. And so I, I remember thinking, actually, I quite like to be a teacher. I could kind of imagine teaching kind of junior school children. Um, and I think, as, as in life generally, you, you kind of come across these people who influence you, who you admire. And I think he was one of the kind of early inspirations, if you could put it like that. I read history at university, but got very involved in the music um, areas. I actually got a lot of pleasure at university from organising um, some concerts that happened or a short concert tour that a choir may have done. So almost being at that stage the backroom boy and thinking that was interesting, I quite enjoyed that. When it got to the stage of thinking what I would do professionally, I was, I was aware that in terms of the music management side, it was then dawning on me that that was a, a possible career option. I personally have very little regrets in terms of the career path that I've taken. I never plan too far ahead, even looking at me now at the ripe old age of 40-something. I'm not necessarily one of those people who is, is absolutely planning the career strategy. I'm a little more fluid in terms of the way I look at things.